Hello everybody out in model model plastic model world. This is Dan Leone on Plastic Model Building 101. Well, I apologize for uh, not getting back to everybody a lot sooner. I've been having a lot of things going on, both in my personal life and also in my job. But uh, however, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for everybody on what goes on. So anyway. Uh, on the progress of my uh, on my Hasegawa model kit, here's what I've done. Uh, basically, the fuselage did not come out with the dam, so I used this from from an older kit. As I mentioned before, if you ever have a model that the parts are defective, whatever, either take it back to the hobby shop, or if you have another kit, I mean, sometimes even though these uh, this part and this part these are from from an older kit. And this part is from a newer kit, uh, you know, both the same. And so basically parts are interchangeable. So anyway, well, basically what I did was I painted the fuse. I, I did not paint the fuselage. I put the fuselage together. I mated the, uh, the engine to the, to the fuselage, the wings, and so forth. But as you can see, like right here, it's a little closer to you. Like here, as you can see, there's a, there's a there's a gap, and also around here too is a gap, and that's going to be very noticeable, especially when you paint your model and so forth. And also, you notice here, like around the wing root area, there's also some gaps here you might want to you know fill in. So, so what we what we're going to do is we're going to start doing some uh, some seam filling and putting. So. Here's the uh, putty that I recommend. I recommend this white putty by Squadron. Uh, it's a fast drying putty. And I also have a applicator stick or a tool. This tool is very, is, I guarantee you can get this at any uh, model store. Uh, even Hobby Lobby carries these too. So. And this you can go to any hobby shop and also if you go to uh, I have a good friend of mine who manages a uh, Hobby Lobby at uh, here in Houston, and he he's also a model builder, and, and uh, he got me some of this too. It's so it's great. So uh, so John, hey man, if you're watching me, man, this is this is the I want to thank you. So I really want to thank you for this. Okay, so we just undo the top here, and uh, basically I'm just gonna apply like a little little gob right here squeeze it out sometimes it's uh, sometimes you know it after a while sometimes it gets kind of gets kind of hard but it's still good though okay okay I put a little part right here and make sure you screw the tap back screw your top back on because because if you leave this open, this will dry and it will get hard as a rock. Okay, I use this right here, this tool. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to apply a little closer here. We're going to apply putty all around the seam here and here and also here. Okay, so here we go. Get a little bit of that. And basically, what we're just going to do, we're just going to kind of spread it on here, like kind of like uh, like peanut butter. Go right here too. Then we'll just apply it like, whoop, apply it right here. See what I did? If 
And then what we'll do is we'll let this part dry overnight, and then we'll we'll uh, sand it. We'll sand it in the morning. And I'll just flat it up there. And sometimes in these areas here, it gets it's kind of tricky, so just kind of you know bear with it. It doesn't really have to be pretty, just enough to enough to get start started here, as you can see. And we'll just uh, let this dry overnight. Let it dry. Let it let it dry overnight. And and uh, when you do that, you'll just take a sanding stick, wet sand, and just sand it down until it gets fully uh, contoured to the surface. Then of course when you when you apply your your uh, primer, this is the primer we'll be using here. This is uh, Tamiya Fine Surface Primer. Uh, I also have here some uh, some other paints too that we'll be using. Uh, you can also get uh, um, let's see if I have it here. No, I don't. Um, Mr. Surfacer works really well. I would highly recommend some Mr. Surfacer. So there's some right here. Mr. Surfacer 1000, you can get this at any hobby shop store. And you, know, you can also go to Hobby Lobby, um, ask for the manager, and he'll he'll try to order some for you. Be nice to him. I mean real nice. If it's a female, give her some flowers and some candy. Alright. Last some more here. And then what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna we're going to apply like this seam right here, and also uh, we'll apply it like right here, and also around around the uh, the fuselage this gap right here. So. around here too 
Try to get it into that strut as best you can. Basically what we're doing, we're just kind of filling in the gaps here. And when you're sanding, be very, very careful not to break these off. If it if it does happen, you know, don't don't panic. You can always glue it back. Make it all, make it all nice and pretty. Okay, well, that's all the sanding, that's all the filling will do. Well, take that back. Right here, too. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty or anything, but sand that down as best you can. So that's what we'll do. So until next, until next time, this is Dan Leone, Plastic Model Building 101. See you next time.